morning to all of you. It is a great honor to be invited to take part in today's press conference for the launching of the 16th Development Policy Research Month. We are gratified that the subject of this year's DPRM is the fourth industrial revolution, which is expected to be disruptive, especially towards the business sector. I hope that the various activities this month will lead to concrete initiatives that will address the challenges arising from the phenomenon and that ECOP will be able to contribute to that end. In my intervention, I will attempt to discuss how the fourth industrial revolution may possibly impact the business sector as well as the employability of the labor force. In order to have an idea on the magnitude of the potential impact of the fourth industrial revolution to Philippine employers and the business sector, it is necessary to first look into the labor and employment situation in the country. A preponderant majority, approximately 99.57% of Philippine enterprises fall under the micro, small, and medium, or MSME category, specifically micro. MSMEs also provide the bulk of employment at 63.28%. In terms of employment by major group, the bulk is found in the services sector, accounting for 23 million or 56% of the total employment. This is followed by the agricultural sector, which employs 9 million people or 24% of the total. With regards to sectoral impact, the World Economic Forum's The Future of Jobs report posits that the fourth industrial revolution will adversely affect manufacturing and sales due to technologies such as 3D printing, the automation of checkout processes, and smart inventory management. The biggest decline, employment decline, however, is expected in office and administrative roles. The anticipated net employment impact is approximately 7.1 million jobs lost for the period 2015 to 2020 two-thirds of which are concentrated in the office and administrative job family, as earlier mentioned. Moreover, the International Labor Organization found that automation and robotics, 3D printing, and cloud coordination are the three technologies that are expected to fundamentally alter the business landscape of a few key ASEAN industries. Automation and robotics not only enable higher productivity and output at lesser costs for the automotive, electronics, and textile sectors, but also greatly reduce errors in output. 3D printing partnered with new body scanning technologies, on the other hand, allows for more exactness in design for the textile, clothing, and footwear industries. It is important to note that these technologies are intended to perform routine functions, typically done by low-skilled workers, which render them more vulnerable to job losses. It has been found by the ILO that over 81% of Filipino workers in the electronics sector are at high risk of displacement from automation. Displacement in the textiles, clothing, and footwear sector, on the other hand, is gender-based.
because the industry predominantly employs women, especially in low-skilled routine work. Most relevant to the Philippines, perhaps, is the impact of the fourth industrial revolution to the business process of sourcing or BPO sector. Automation, particularly robotic process automation, has been determined as a major detriment to employment in the industry due to its ability to perform tasks quickly, learn from experience, and improve after each operation. Automated robots are also able to work around the clock, are less error prone, and can address the high turnover rates, which is one of the challenges faced by the BPO industry. The redeveloped website of the Employers Confederation of the Philippines actually use, uses a robot assistant, which has been programmed to provide information on issues typically required by visitors. This includes information on ECOP's upcoming training programs, available publications, and membership questions. The robot assistant allows ECOP to address basic concerns 24-7 and has been highly beneficial in improving the organization's customer service. The most recent estimate shows that over 1.2 million people work in the BPO industry nationally, and over 89% of them are at high risk due to automation. With regards to technological readiness, the Philippines falls in the middle range within the ASEAN, as indicated in the 2016 World Economic Forum Global Competitiveness Index. The country, however, ranks low on fair, fair level technology absorption. There is no doubt that Philippine employers are now feeling the impact of the fourth industrial revolution with changing work environments and flexible work arrangements as one of the earliest manifestations. However, Philippine companies show that they are facing some challenges in adapting these new technologies as evidenced by the country's regional and global rank on firm level technology absorption. The reasons behind the slow progress is generally due to a lack of resources, information, and capability. A McKinsey survey conducted February this year, it specified these reasons to be the inability to define a business plan, no integration and coordination across business units, worries over cybersecurity, and the lack of digital talent to execute any transition roadmap. The lack in resources and capability is compounded further in the case of micro, small, and medium enterprises, which, as you already know, compose 99% of Philippine industries. Inability to catch up with technological advancements can only lead to a decline in competitiveness due to untapped opportunities to maximize productivity. This occurs both at the national and global levels, where firms not only lose to competitors within their country, which are able to adapt, but also within the context of the global supply chain. It is also important to note that these exponential changes in the business landscape are occurring simultaneously with the constant redefinition of labor standards and regulations within the country. ECO, although ECOP has never wavered in its promotion of compliance to the requirements of the law, 
The organization acknowledges that compliance is getting more difficult. Since labor regulations are getting more stringent, more intrusive, and more costly, thus hampering flexibility and agility, which are essential in coping with the unprecedented speed and changes that characterize globalization. In this context, the advent of the forced industrial revolution presents another hurdle for the Philippine employer, despite the fact that new technologies can help counteract rising production costs in the long run. In some ASEAN countries, for example, one key driver for robotic and automation deployment is increasing labor costs in the form of wage increases. Firms are able to maintain or even increase output without increasing production cost. This, however, has a twofold effect on the workforce. First, low-skilled workers will be displaced in favor of automation. And secondly, workers with new and specialized skills will be required to manage and operate these new technologies. In general, McKinsey Analytics predicts that the fourth industrial revolution would require skills relating to engineering, data analytics, and information technology. Despite this, however, the necessity of soft skills relating to leadership qualities and emotional intelligence has not been discounted. The code transformational coach and coach remains at the center of the new roles anticipated. Discussions about the employment impacts of the fourth industrial revolution have always been divided between those who believe that it will create endless amounts of jobs that will improve workers' productivity and freedom of routine work and those that anticipate massive job displacement. However, the first proposition can only be true if the country's education and skills development is well adapted to the new skills needs of industry. The elimination of certain jobs and the creation of new jobs entail the obsolescence of certain skills and the rise in necessity of a few others. In the case of manufacturing, for example, automation may render routine skills unnecessary, but will, but will require more architects and engineers to manage and maintain the new equipment and systems. Proper anticipation of industry skills needs and the development of appropriate training will depend on robust labor market information, or LMI. Unfortunately, LMI in the Philippines has always been obsolete and weak, due in part to the inability of the government to provide up-to-date information, as well as the inability of employers to determine outright their skills requirements. In a job skills mismatch study, study conducted by ECOP in 2015, Bureau of Local Employment Director Dominic Butai mentioned that most employers interviewed by the BL, by the Bureau for the Jobs Fit LMI report have difficulties identifying their skills needs. ECOP does not expect this change, this to change with the advent of the fourth industrial revolution, and in fact the organization only expects it to become worse. Low technological adaptation by enterprise, enterprises compounded by the inability to properly identify skills requirements can greatly set back education and skills development initiatives. In this regard, job skills mismatch, which is already a pervasive problem, will exacerbate. And in fact, job skills mismatch emerged as the main threat to the full adaptation of the fourth industrial revolution in an echo future of work study conducted 2016. What then 
that should be done in this scenario? It is no question that policy responses supported by concerted implementation is the answer. But it should be targeted for enterprises and for workers' employability. For enterprises, we believe that the investments and initiatives must be made in research and development in order to, specific, to specifically address the challenges that hinders employers in technological adaptation with special attention placed towards MSMEs. Financial support and subsidies, as well as training and business planning and reorganization will be highly beneficial. For workers, employability focus in engineering, data analytics, and information technology must be heightened and further promoted. Emphasis must also be made on continuous and lifelong learning, upskilling, and reskilling in order to lessen as much as possible the job displacement arising from the fourth industrial revolution. Industry academic linkages must also be strengthened, not just in technical vocational education, but also in tertiary education, which at present still requires institutionalization. STEM must be promoted and strengthened. ECOP realizes that employers and the business sector also have roles and responsibilities in the advent of the fourth industrial revolution. In an effort to promote the big brother or big sister, small brother, small sister mindset, ECOP implemented the business cases on workplace issues, learning session series in 2016 to 2017, which focused on the dimensions of the future of work. The learning sessions allowed large enterprises, which are comparatively more advanced in integrating new technologies in their business processes to share information and tips to other employers. Some of the enterprises that shared their initiatives were IBM, Meralco, and STS Philippines. ECOP also encourages employers to invest in staff development and take it upon themselves to upskill and or reskill their employees. In an effort to contribute to this end, ECOP has started to expand its roster of training programs to include essential soft skills as effective customer engagement, project management, emotional intelligence, language proficiency, and work ethics, among others. I hope that these inputs are able to contribute to the objectives of this year's DPRM. ECOP is open to collaborate, to collaborate with the Philippine Institute for Development Studies on any initiative that aims to shed more light on the fourth industrial revolution and how employers can take better advantage